Hey, 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 got the Grom chilling over there. I didn't want to park the Grom like in normal parking spots, so I just kind of like tucked it away over here with the people <laughs> with their bicycles. <laughs> nice. What's up guys it's iron j moto and i am layered up so we're gonna be it's gonna be a high of 52 but right now it's probably like 12 o'clock so you know it's still like mid 40s and um but yeah i'm gonna go for a little ride uh head up to my parents house and probably adventure off and hop on the harley or the r6 I'm not sure yet Ooh, it's cold. It's nice and sunny though, but it's cold. But luckily I layered up. Ooh, back on the ground for some Grom adventures, man. I haven't vlogged in a while on the ground and I tried to adjust the camera so it's facing down a little bit. When I have it fully like tilted up, it's almost like you know you don't even see the grom since it's so small that the footage almost just looks like i'm floating <laughs> um but anyway i have a really cool vlog um that i did on the grom but unfortunately i didn't upload it and i and i'll probably upload it maybe towards the end of the year but long story short i had joined a group ride um, out by me my first time joining a group ride um, you know it's supposed to be like a mini moto meet so it's like groms and ruckuses but you know it ended up being every single bike you could imagine cruisers um, sport bikes mini bikes uh, stunt bikes just kind of the whole thing it was pretty awesome um, had a blast but long story short we ended up getting pulled over and just a whole hectic situation happened and I ended up getting, I don't even know, a ticket, a citation, or a court date nonetheless. And funny enough, that court date is actually on my birthday. So lucky me, you know? Um, but yeah, um, you know, that was my first time being in I guess kind of one of those big group rides um, and I figured I'd kind of talk about it uh, kind of my experience with it um, you know the, the the good the bad and just kind of you know just my thoughts about joining some of those bigger group rides some of those things to look out for is you know when you're riding with a bunch of people like that yeah it can be dangerous cuz you know there's no real formation it's kind of a you know like a free-for-all so you definitely got to be, you know, a pretty experienced rider when it comes to that kind of a situation. Um, if you're a beginner rider and you join some of those local meets where, you know, it's kind of just like a free for all, you know, it, it can be a little bit intimidating or, you know, just a little bit chaotic. <laughs> but again, nonetheless fun. I just, you know, again, only want to speak about my experience with it. Um, there were people who were stunning, you know, so you got people doing wheelies, burnouts in the middle of intersections. So again, you know, these guys who are doing that know what they're doing and they do it well. But, you know, you never know if an accident can happen and something's in the road, they mess up, you know, they, they're not only putting themselves at danger, but everyone that's riding around them especially you know not giving any proper distance or not being in formation you know what i mean so you know there's always that hazard of the situation um you know even at intersections at stoplights i'm sure the cars around us are like holy shit you know like no one's in formation we're all just kind of crammed at an intersection and, and just excited everyone's having a good time so like i really can't blame them you know what i mean the cool thing about social media um 
is that you can find people to ride with and you can find local groups and people who put on rides and meet friends and get out there. Um, it's truly an awesome thing. But, you know, there's just a few risks when it comes to riding in some of those big groups. And, you know, and you just, I want to make sure that, you know, some people are aware of those things. Um, you know, long story short, you know, after riding around this town um, here in the Midwest, um, eventually cops were trying to get us and you know we have you know a group of us on groms a group of us on sport bikes a group of us on cruisers there's people doing stunts on like stunt bikes so you know we didn't really know what to do there was just a big group of us so, you know, it's not like we were all on, 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 on you know, Cardos or Senos, you know what I mean? So, we hear a cop. The odd thing is this cop behind us didn't have his sirens on and stuff. So, no one really even knew what to do. So, we thought we were just kind of cruising with it. But again, even with the cop behind us, you have these stunners who, you know, popping wheelies and doing burnouts in front of the cops. That's when things got a little interesting because then the group split up, nobody knew what to do, and you know, you didn't want to be the one to pull over. I mean, I know it sounds stupid, but in the moment, you know, you're kind of just like, I'm going to roll with everybody, and at that moment, everyone's doing what somebody else is going to do, but we're all just thinking, you know, like, we're not going to be the first ones to pull over, or <laughs> I really don't know. And so the group splits up, and next thing I know, there's just like, squad cars everywhere chasing everybody people are running away people are pulling over it was just insane always watch out for the people who do stunts wheelies burnouts um, give yourself some distance but again trust me the people you know usually the people who are doing that on their own personal bikes you know they're good at it they practice it but always take precaution and you know give some distance um because it is cool to watch it is cool to be a part of that but you know if you're not doing stunts or doing wheelies you know you just always want to make sure you're you know taking precaution for your own safety um other things to look out for is like yeah i mean a lot of people you know ride without a license you know if you don't have a license you know there is a big risk of being in those group rides it doesn't necessarily make you more safe because you're mixed in with a lot of people um just in case cops are coming at you and you're not you know able to just run away i mean again i not to say that like i would have ran away but i was on the ground so i'm not running away from nobody um but yeah i mean a lot of people i know ride without a license so if you don't have a license you know always understand that there is a, a bigger risk being in a group ride because in case you know cops are trying to pull you guys over you happen to pull over and you know you don't have a license it could be worse for you um and then you know also some identifying things you know people riding without a license plate because again those are the people who have been on these group rides and you know they potentially could just be ruining it for everybody else you know causing a ruckus doing the stunts and the dudes who run around with no license plates know that they're going to get away and they're gonna dip and they're gonna you know do everything they can to leave everybody else behind and leave you in the dust to take all the heat um so that's always a bummer too you know um kind of in the sense of me you know what i mean like I wasn't popping wheelies or doing burnouts on this little thing, yet because of their actions, you know, me and a whole bunch of other people caught the heat and now we gotta go to court and, you know, I again, I don't know what's gonna happen. They could, the judge could be pissed and like screw everybody over for causing, you know, danger in their town or they could just slap us with tickets. Like, it's just kind of up in the air. but you know those group rides are fun but just be aware of a few of those risks that you take when you join them but 
I'm not here to talk shit about those group rides, you know, fully on. Those are just like a few things that, you know, in my experience kind of learned by joining a group ride. Um, but, you know, on the way more positive side, you know, by all means, you know, understand the risk, but join a group ride if you feel like you have a bike and you don't know or have anybody to ride with because you know it is an expensive hobby so you know if all your homies don't got bikes you know look up facebook groups look up on instagram try to find some local people that you know put on rides it's really the best way to you know meet people and, and be a part of the community because the people who do put them together including the one that I was on you know they are awesome people all bikers are super cool and on this specific ride it was super dope that you know you had cruisers sport bikes stunt bikes mini motos just kind of everybody coming together and having a good time like you know it is a bummer that i got this court day and it is a bummer that a lot of us got the heat on it but nonetheless we all had a blast and it was fun and that's just kind of you know what it is you know or it is what it is you know what i'm saying um i'm not dogging on those big group rides at all I actually i'm gonna do another one and i will always continue to do another one but there is just a few of those things on the back of my mind and the risk that I, I'm going to take that I need to understand that you guys should understand by joining some of those bigger group rides that are kind of your local meetups of the community, you know. The people who do organize those, the people who start those Facebook groups are good people and you'd be surprised that without having to join a motorcycle club that is a great way to, to, to get out there, ride with people, and they also do good within their communities, you know what I mean? Um, there is a, a group out here, which obviously I'm pretty sure everybody knows, the Chicago United Riders, and you know, I actually, I haven't joined any of their rides, I've always thought about it, but I just saw a post from them that, you know, every Tuesday they do Taco Tuesday and they're always rolling two, three hundred deep, it feels like, and they support local businesses. Um, these are Facebook groups and, you know, not just exist by me, that I'm almost positive ex exist by all of you guys too, um, that are just organized by friends and friends of friends and just people who live in the around you that all have good hearts man so not all bikers are bad people man everybody gets along because on every group ride i've seen that's around here you know it's all kinds of bikes and personalities and people coming together because of the love for two wheels and even at the same time you know there was so it, it, it could be easy for me to be like you know screw the police but at the end of the day really they're just doing their job so i really don't blame them either you know it's just some of the risks that you know come along with joining those big group rides but for the most part man everything is fun everybody's always looking out for each other but i did want to just talk a little bit about my experience joining that recent group ride i was on um because again, I haven't vlogged on the Grom in a while and the last time I was on the Grom was on that group ride. But I'm hoping that helps you guys, you know, you know, shed a little bit of light or some tips or just things to think about if you are planning on joining a bigger group ride. Um, and if I didn't really talk about anything um, that may help and you guys have experience, please comment below and share your experience or share some things to look out for but yeah guys make sure you like this video subscribe to my youtube follow me on instagram and facebook share it with your friends thank you guys all for you know following me and you know interacting and engaging in my content and uh till the next one guys peace